What up? What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Jess, and I wanted to do something different. Somebody actually had me thinking yesterday on Twitter. They hit me up, and they asked, um, what exactly... No, not... Well, first and foremost, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, this is my name on, uh, Mutthead. If you guys want to, uh, hit me up with a follow, message, or whatever, Mr. Golden GS on Mudhead. Um, and I say that I got 21 messages. I'm gonna go through them, I promise. <laughs> Um, somebody's like, AGS, hey, question, if you wasn't doing the best overall lineup, would your team look how your team is now? And I said, no, I, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be how it is now. Uh, there are some players that I feel like are better value that um, I would prefer over having the more expensive guys. So what I wanted to do is, you know, this will be, um, you know, kind of like a building the team series where I'll go through and, and put together some of my lineups that I personally have experience with. Um, to kind of let you guys know what type of lineups I would prefer. So, uh, first and foremost, the number one tight end I would get is I would get Jimmy Graham. Any version of Jimmy Graham due to the fact that he is 6'7". Uh, so the number one option would be 91 Jimmy Graham. That would be my tight end. If I wasn't doing best overall, I would go with Jimmy Graham because he is tall as almighty hell. Second tight end, I would still go, I would go with the guys that would block the best. So I would go with Donald Penn, and then right here, I would go with uh, Soldier, because he, oh, did I spell his name wrong? There it is, Sol Soldier, Soldier, I was spelling, okay, you know what I mean, okay, so that's who I would go with, this would be my linebacking core right here, I would have Jimmy Graham, because he is the tallest, and he's going to be an absolute goon at face catching, because we all know height dominates this year, height and speed, if you have a combination of both, you're deadly, but um, if I don't have speed, uh, if I don't have height, I want speed. If I don't have speed, I want height. So, and then these guys are just for blocking purposes. Uh, right here, I would definitely go with the highest overall line. Line is very important. I wouldn't think twice about it. Give me the best possible offensive line because I need to run the ball. I need to be able to have success, being able to uh, move the ball, stay in the pocket. So, without a question, I would spend, no matter how many coins it takes, I want the best offensive line because, in my opinion, that is the most important thing in Mutt. If your offensive line isn't good, it's tough to run the ball due to the fact that they're going to be giving up block sheds. They're going to not holding their blocks long. Uh, if you don't have a good line, you're not going to be able to stand in the pocket long because they're not going to be able to hold blocks long. So, without a question, I would definitely still have the offensive line that I have now. Wide receiver number one. I would go with uh, definitely boss Calvin Johnson. But let's say you don't want, you know, Calvin Johnson. Other than him, I say 96 Calvin Johnson is the best receiver that I've been able to use besides um, 99. So I would definitely go with 96 Calvin Johnson. Wide receiver number two, <clears throat> I would go with 97 Steve Smith. 97 Steve Smith is an absolute goon. In my opinion, he is way better than Jerry Rice, without a question. You know, like I said, if I don't have height... I want speed. Jerry Rice is good, but he's 6'2". He's, he's not at that 6'4", 6'5", level where you can face catch. Um, and he's not that blazing fast. 95 speed is good, but I'd much rather have Steve Smith. In my opinion, Steve Smith is somebody who is such a monster uh, with his 90 speed. And he breaks so many tackles, man. I, I can't stress how good 97 Steve Smith is. Wide receiver number three, I would go with... Uh, Chris Matthews uh, is two T's. I would go with Chris Matthews because, again, he's tall. He's somebody that I can rely on being able to go on ahead and uh, get a lot of um, deep throws for me. So I'm, I'm on a combination of good height and good speed. <clears throat> Wide receiver number four, you guys, and this no particular order of depth chart, I'm sure I would move them around, but uh, I can't stress this enough on how biblical 93 Wes Welker is. He would, without a doubt, be on my team because he is somebody who uh, route running is just incredible at 97. He just always seems to get open, man. That card is just a monster, and I, I would need him on my team. Wide receiver number five. Uh, let me see who we got. I wouldn't get Jerry Rice. I wouldn't get Chris Carter or Irvin. I wouldn't get Beckham. Uh, I would probably end up going with... I've never used Fitzgerald. 
but I would probably go with Larry Fitzgerald. His run blocking is like 76 or something like that. He is somebody who I can put in who has decent height at 6'3", decent, but uh, he is somebody that blocks very, very well. So he is somebody I could put in because sometimes when I put in, let's say, Donald Penn or Soldier at uh, my wide receiver spots so they, I can get better blocking, it's noticeable. You, 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 When you see Donald Penn at wide receiver, you can pretty much expect a run. You know what I mean? But um, this Louis Fritz again, I've never had him, but his blocking just looks insane. I would definitely get him. Uh, wide receiver number six, I would go with... Let me see. We're looking. We're looking. Hmm. Let me see. Out of these guys here... I would probably go with Deshaun Jackson, just due to the speed. Because, again, I, I want a combination of everything. So this right here, I'm going to have height on the field where I got Calvin, I got Matthews, I got Fitzgerald, and then I'm going to want my guys who can get underneath and just be annoying, like Steve Smith, Deshaun Jackson, and Welker, guys that I can put on angle routes and drags, and guys that can just create mayhem underneath also over the top threat. So... Uh, more than likely, that would be my receiving core. Running back, without a question, would be uh, Bo Jackson. Without a question, best running back in the game. Uh, definitely him. If it wasn't Bo Jackson, I would probably end up going with... Let me see. Uh, Barry's good, but... Eh. Out of everybody here, I'd, I'd probably go with 95 Chris Johnson or 99 DeMarco Murray. If it wasn't Bo Jackson. But uh, to back up Bo Jackson and, and my, what is, I would prefer, I, I'm, I'm actually thinking about selling Barry Sanders so I could pick up DeMarco. But uh, I would have these guys. I would have um, Chris Johnson. And then I would also get uh, Franco Harris. Because 97 Franco Harris has, I think, like 80 run block. And he is somebody I can put at the fullback position. Um and block where I could hand it off, and he's going to be a good running back. So these are the running backs I would want if I wasn't doing best overall. Quarterback is definitely tough because there's so many um, good ones, but without a doubt, I would go with primetime Peyton Manning because he's everything it is you need. His accuracy is laser-like, and his speed at 75 just makes him sneaky to where if you don't pay attention, he will take off. But it's good enough speed for me to run outside the pocket and avoid blitzes. Um, I know 99 Tom Brady has um, very good accuracy and a gunsling for uh, a, a release. But 97 Peyton Manning I just love. And I think he's one of the best quarterbacks in the game. And that 75 speed is definitely uh, goonish. Uh, backup, I wouldn't have a backup. Fullback, I would definitely go with the best blocking fullback. I would go with Bruce Miller. And... Uh, I would just go with the guys that I have now. Maybe like Avante Leach and possibly um, somebody else that can block really well. Uh, Klutz. Klutz can block. So this right here would be my offense. If I wasn't doing the highest overall, I would love a team like this. <clears throat> well, we got Jimmy Graham. We got Penn and Soldier to block. I have the best offensive lineman possible. My wide receivers I have 96 Calvin. I got me some height. I got Chris Matthews. I got me some more height. I got some um, somewhat decent height with Fitzgerald and a monster at blocking. We have Steve Smith that can burn you over the top with 98 speed. I can burn you going underneath and making some moves with his high uh, elusiveness and speed. Uh, I have Deshaun Jackson who is going to be a monster uh, as well over the top and underneath. And Wes Welker who is just a route running monster who just always seems to get open. Running back Bo Jackson without a doubt. Um, let me check. Is this thing still? Okay, processing. Um, DeMarco Murray, Chris Johnson, and then Franco Harris. And fullbacks will be Bruce Miller, Vontae Leach, and Klutz. Quarterback will be Peyton Manning. Now, defense. So, the best guys <clears throat> I've been able to use so far, uh, out of right here, if I can get anybody, I would go with Ed Reed. He, by far, made the most plays for me. He is somebody who just absolutely always puts himself around the ball and somebody who's just always, always um, making plays. Right outside linebacker, one of um, the guys that I would, uh, you know, prefer is uh, Jack Ham. You know, he everything you need. He has 90 zone coverage, 99 play rec. He's by far somebody I would have. Um, if we weren't doing best overall. Middle linebacker. Now, this is somebody I use her. So, I would need somebody with really, really good catching, good speed. I would go with 97 Keekly. 
Uh, I've never used them, but the 95 Keekly caught everything. So I could only imagine how good 97 Keekly is. Since I use her the middle linebacker, I would go with Keekly. If I wasn't using middle linebacker, I'd probably go as a 49er fan with like Bowman or something like that or Ray Lewis. But um, since I use her, without a doubt, Luke Keekly. Left outside linebacker with easily Thomas Davis, the best um, left outside linebacker in the game. He is an absolute monster in the game. Strong safety. I would go 98 Troy Palomalu without even thinking twice about it. Again, he is somebody with high play rec who just always seems to make plays and be around the ball. Number one cornerback, I would want to get 99. I would have 99 Sherman just because of he has that height. You know, he has that good speed in 96. Cornerback number two, I would go with uh, Darrell Revis. Darrell Revis is so underrated. He is somebody with his 98 press. Um, whenever you press with him, he is a monster. Like, I think he is the second best coverage cornerback in the game that I've been able to use. I sold 97 DRC to get Revis, and I, I personally think Revis is better. Just his press will keep you. If it's, if it's not an unbumpable, Darrell Revis will keep you on that line for two seconds minimum. Absolutely devastate, like game changing press. I don't run man to man much, but whenever I do, and Revis is pressing, I know that that receiver is not getting off the line for a few seconds unless he's on an unbumbable. Right here at uh, cornerback number three is where I would want uh, DRC. Somebody to give me some height, somebody with some really good speed. I personally think Revis is better. But uh, a lot of people seem to think DRC is the, one of the best cornerbacks in the game. You can't go wrong. 98 speed, 6'2 height, definitely somebody really, really good. Cornerback number four, somebody that uh, made a lot of plays for me, 97 Woodson. 97 Woodson, I think he's like 6'1", uh, really good block shed. He does really well in the run game as well. And he has decent uh, just tackling ability, hit power. He is somebody that is really, really good in uh, stopping the run. And for cornerback number five, with the ability to stop the run as well, I would go with uh, Rod Woodson. Somebody who can block shed, somebody who has 96 speed, and somebody who has hip power. Somebody that can help me stop the run. Um, as you guys know, I struggle against the run a lot. And guys like Woodson and Woodson, they do very well against the run. You know, they got good block shed. They attack the ball carrier pretty well. And that just makes my job easier. As well as having really good coverage guys in Sherman. Cromartie and Revis. These guys can cover, but when it comes to covering, you know, my go-to guys are going to be Sherman, Cromartie, and Revis. But when it comes to somebody continuously running the ball, you're going to want Woodson and Woodson on the field. Right end right here, I would definitely go with Deacon Jones um, because he is no, – no, 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 let me take that. Uh, well, I would yeah, Deacon did the best for me, but I would want 98 Freeney. I would probably go with 98 Freeney. I still want him with 93 speed, 99 finesse move. He is somebody I've had my eye on in, in a while. Uh, I probably would have. I would. Eh, it's tough. Freeney is. He looks amazing. I would definitely say because um, I haven't played with Bruce Smith too much. I would say Deacon Jones by far did the best for me that I've had. He was an absolute monster. But if I had to go with what it is who I want, I would probably go with Freeney. Save me some coins and just have 93 speed where I can put that D tackle and try and send some A gaps and stuff like that. Somebody who's who is fast as almighty hell. D tackles, uh, and Dominican Sue is one of the best ones I've used. Mean Joe Green, I mean, he's good, but I don't really notice too, too much. Um, honestly, I don't know why, uh, but I would definitely go with Dominican Sue. And uh, I think I would probably go with uh, Kevin Williams, too. These guys did so well for me when I had them. Uh, I would probably go with these two guys. You know, they just do really well in the run game, really strong. And I would probably end up going with these guys. Left end, I would go with J.J. Watt. You guys know how I'm a big J.J. Swizzle fan. And uh, that's it. Specialist. Uh, punter, obviously, I would want the best. Kicker, I would, I would want the best. Uh, punt returner, I would probably go with my Deshaun Jackson that uh, I had and kick returner as well. But, I mean, that is the team I would assemble if I wasn't doing, well, not for sure, but it, it'll look sim something like this. If I wasn't doing the best overall, um, I would probably want a team like this, you know, because uh, this would fit my play style very, very well. This is exactly how I would build my team 
uh, if I wasn't doing highest overall. Let me know if you guys like this series. Give me some ideas. Um, if you guys uh, want me to try and build a team together with guys I've used, maybe, you know, try and build a team that's less than 400k worth or you know try and build a team like a budget squad that, i don't know something give me some ideas in the comment section and maybe we can do the uh, build a team series and uh, maybe i can put together teams from my experience and you know let you guys know the guys that i've used that i personally feel like are very good players at good values not saying that some of these guys are good value because some of these guys like davis reed sure these guys are expensive but these are guys i would put together if I wasn't doing highest overall at every position. That's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. It's your boy, Jess. We're going to go ahead and be signing out. Peace.